the lodge in Las Vegas, or no, in uh, Dallas. And I'm gonna do a review on baby dolls right now before I get the two like intertwined. So as far as I know from what I heard at the lodge, okay, so you need to get your fingerprints done here and you need to get a background check done here. So that will cost you, I believe, $100 to complete. That's what it cost me. Um, I went through baby dolls though. So the lady at the lodge told me I had to go to this place and do a money order because they didn't accept cash. Well, if you go get hired at baby Stand dolls first, place. then you can get, you can go with one of their bouncers. He'll take you to the place and um, they take care of whatever, but it costs you a hundred bucks. So, and I think if you do it otherwise, I think it's more expensive. I think it's 125 if you go on your own. I don't know, I'm not sure, but okay, so baby dolls. Management seemed cool. The vibe seemed cool. Every baby dolls I've ever seen uh, has been a shithole. So I was expecting this place to not be that nice, but I got a recommendation from somebody that spends a lot of money in strip clubs saying that baby dolls in the lodge were two of the best clubs in Dallas. So I thought, well, fuck it. So I went to the lodge, or I went to baby dolls and I was very fucking surprised. It was 6.30 when I showed up and the parking lot was packed. When I say packed, like, I'm not even kidding. I, I was like, is there another building in here? Did other you know stores are out or whatever no it was all foot traffic for baby dolls clientele a lot of regulars that spend money a lot of regulars that actually spend money and are attractive which is weird um, so uh, and also a lot of just random people. Like there was a lot of people for, here for the game that's, I don't know, today or tomorrow, I don't watch football. Um, but there were a lot of people that were here for the game. Big club, it's not massive, but it's a pretty big club. A lot of girls that work there, but there's plenty of space for you. The audition process was a piece of cake. I walked up to the, the uh, door girl, said I wanted to audition. She handed me a one page sheet of paper to fill out and super easy manager comes over or floor guy comes over talks to me for a second and then sends me to the dressing room tells me to get dressed and then says as soon as you're done go in there uh the office which is right next to the dressing room and they'll basically look at you and say yes or no so that's what they did so i've never had uh, an audition quite like that before i mean i walk in in my outfit um, the guy tells me to take off my top, uh, turn around, ask if I had a bunch of tattoos, um, and, uh, and then he said, okay, you're good. Then he said, you have to get your fingerprints done, you have to get a background check done, but they could help with that, but it was going to cost a hundred bucks in, in cash, can't pay for it on card. Um, the hours are, you can come in anytime you want. The house fee significantly increases all day. Uh, but you can come in up to 1.30 and the club closes at 2. So, but your house fee is like outrageous. It's like, I think it's like 150 bucks or something. Well, maybe it's, yeah, I think it was like $150 if you came in at 2 or at 1.30. Um, $20 dances all across the board for floor dances. VIP rooms are bullshit, uh, which is why tonight I'm going to the lodge because I, I, I want good VIP rooms. Um, the deal with the VIP rooms at this place were the only benefit, okay, so in Dallas, you are not allowed to sell your time by, you're not allowed to sell, you're not allowed to sell by the time. You're only allowed to sell by the dance. This is an actual law. So, according to him anyway, so you need to know that there are 16 songs per hour, which equals $320 uh, per hour. So there was no benefit whatsoever to selling a room other than 
well, first of all, you get to keep people, right? But it's still $20 a song, but you can still sell it by, it's, you know, $320 for the hour. Um, he said, you can agree on a different time or on a different price, but I still didn't really understand that. That was still kind of a gray area to me because I was like, I thought we were only allowed to charge by the song, not by the time. So I'm still a little bit confused on that. Prices for the bottles, you can get a bottle of wine. So they don't keep track of your time. This is totally up to you. No one's coming back to tell you your time's up. This is all on you. So, so you could sell, um, you know, a 30 minute room, you can sell a 15 minute room, you can sell whatever you want. You just need to do it by the song. And I don't understand exactly how you can push that to be more. Uh, I need some more clarity on that one. But, um, so you can get a bottle of wine for $145 and then you get a, a booth or whatever with this person. You can get a bottle of champagne for $165, which is what I ended up getting. Um, I sold a, I sold this guy a 30 minutes, so what was that, $160, um, and then he paid $165 for the room. Um, and the benefits, the only benefit, other than you, you get to keep someone for a while, you know, and you can sell it by saying, you know, well, it's more private, it is more private, um, which is good. What was I gonna say about that? Um, oh, the benefit of it, the real benefit to me, at least, is when you sell a bottle, you get skipped in rotation at least one time if you sell if you sell on the low end uh what i did if you sell uh you know 150 dollar bottle or whatever you get skipped one time if you go upstairs and sell like 320 i think this is right don't quote me on this if you go upstairs uh you get skipped twice so and if you come in at night chances are you're only gonna have to go on stage one time but going on stage is a fucking chore because you're on seven stages in a row, one song each. So you're on stage for like 30 minutes and uh, I'm not a fan of stage. So to me, that was my motivation to sell a room and the way that I sold it, because I was still kind of confused about, about how to sell it because there's technically no benefit to them. They have to, other than it is a little bit more private, which you can really push, you know, say, well, it's more private. Like it's, it is a, it is a lot less distracting. I swear, I think I gave, I swear, I feel like I gave some of the worst dances of my life last night because I was so distracted. Like there was just people everywhere and I was just super distracted. So, but then when I went into this little booth with this guy, um, I wasn't distracted anymore, you know? I was totally with him and whatever. So the way I sold it, which uh, has worked for me on multiple occasions actually, is I was getting called to stage and I was talking to this guy about a room before I said something about, um, I was talking to him about it. And then I heard my name called and I was like, fuck. And, and I didn't hear you're up in two, I heard you're up next, so I was like, fuck. So I said, hey, I was like, listen, I was like, let's go do a room. I was like, if you come do a room, and it was getting late. I was like, if you come do a room with me now, uh, I won't have to go on stage. And if I have to go on stage, I'll be gone for like a long time and I might not see you again. And that was what sold it. And so that's a good way to sell rooms is say, you know, you're up next. I don't know if I would lie about that. Um, I don't think lying is a good strategy, uh, typically, you know. It's tough in the strip club scene because you're lying about your name right off the bat, so. Um, and about a lot of other things. Do you have a boyfriend? Of course I don't have a boyfriend. Some girls will straight up say they do though and they'll, you know, make more money. So, uh, because people want what they can't have. So, anyway, besides the point. So house fee for me because I got there I think before 10 and I was new it was only 25 bucks pay your house fee before 2 o'clock because if you wait until 2 
you're gonna wait in line with a bunch of other girls and you gotta you know pay your fee and do a, like a sign out thing um, dressing room was pretty big. I always recommend getting ready before you go. Like, I'm, I don't have any makeup on or anything right now, but I'm going to do all my makeup in the car before I go inside. And I'm going to a different club anyway. And the club that I'm going to tonight, well, I don't know if it had more space. And I don't know how many girls are going to be there tonight. So, um, anything else? Everybody seemed really cool. Everybody seemed really cool. Uh, like, really cool. Like, all the girls seem cool, all the management, I only met one manager, but all the floor guys seem cool. Uh, DJ actually seemed cool. Uh, didn't play very good music, but he seemed, you know, he wasn't like super annoying. Um, anything else important about that place? Oh, if you sell multiple rooms, so let's say, cause chances are you're only gonna go up twice right uh in the night because there's so many girls that work there so chances are you're only gonna go up once or twice but if you sell three rooms you can get another girl off stage so if you have a friend that doesn't want to go on stage um and that keeps going so the more rooms you sell the more girls you can get off stage if you care to so uh i thought that was cool it was, it was unique it was definitely unique because and i did ask um i did ask a little bit into the night because i did not want to do that I asked him I was like can I pay you to stay off stage and he goes you can when you first get here but it's $150 it's $150 or, or $200 just to stay off stage and I don't even know if that included the house fee so I was like fuck I guess that could be one of their ways of trying to get girls to sell rooms to, to stay off stage so anyway that's my review on baby dolls in Dallas uh Honestly, I would say I think it's a good club, especially if you do learn how to sell rooms just so that you're locked in to a time frame with somebody because it's just easier. It's so much easier. I have an Apple Watch and you can literally just set, you know, an hour or 30 minutes on your on your watch and it'll go off when um, you know, when your time is up. So, okay, that's it. Have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye.